I'm Katrina, and I'm here to bring you your geekly news. Guess who's leaving your nightmares and invading your game console? I'm talking about none other than Freddy Krueger. He is the next available fighter that you can download for Mortal Kombat. And it makes you wonder who else will Warner Brothers eventually put on the game. Damon Lindelof recently told Collider in an interview that he believes that if the Lost franchise ever goes on, he doesn't think that he or Carlton Cuse should continue it and that they should pass the baton to someone else. He said that they did the show for six years and everything they wanted to do, they did. And if there's going to be any more of it, it should come from someone else. And that would be pretty exciting to watch. He also told MTV News in an interview that the Star Trek II Foundation has been set and they already have decided on the villain of the story. He didn't say exactly who it was, but he did rule out the Borg and said that there were discussions on whether or not it would be Khan. Captain America is supporting the troops once again. Harley Davidson has teamed up with Marvel to auction off a 2011 Harley Davidson V-Rod Muscle VRSCF that was signed by the Captain America, the first Avenger cast, which includes Chris Evans, Samuel Jackson, Neil McDonough, director Joe Johnson, and comic icon Stan Lee to help support disabled American veterans. Have you ever stolen or towel or robe from a hotel? Well, you better stop doing that because hotels are starting to put a stop to it by putting new radio frequency chips inside of their towels, robes, and sheets to track them to make sure that they won't be leaving the hotel and also to keep track of how many of their towels are in your hotel room. Tales from the Crypt is coming back to television. It will be a modern day retelling based off of the 1950 comic book series. Gil Adler, producer on the HBO Crypt series, and Andrew Cosby, co-creator of the Sci-Fi Channel hit Eureka are working on the project. George Lucas was in another legal battle once again, but this time he lost. Andrew Ainsworth, the man who originally designed the Stormtrooper helmet for Star Wars, won the rights to sell replicas of the iconic costume. In 2004, Lucas sued Ainsworth for $20 million, claiming that he doesn't have the right to sell the design. The trial had to be moved to the UK because Ainsworth had no assets in the US and the home team won. Ainsworth said he went to court on principle and he was not going to allow the director to buy his soul. Are you curious to know who is going to be in the sequel to The Expendables? Well, I'm going to tell you. It will be Sylvester Stallone, Jason Statham, John Travolta, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Chuck Norris, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Dolph Lundgren, Mickey Rourke, and Bruce Willis. Director Simon West will be helming this movie. I don't know if this screen will be able to take it. You know, Chuck Norris is going to be on there. Something very interesting is exploding in the UK. I'm talking about flower grenades. The flower grenades military style exterior is 100% biodegradable and made of clay so rain can wash it away after it explodes. Inside you'll find soil and your choice of poppy ryegrass or buttercup seeds. You can go to suck dot uk dot com to purchase them. China is preparing its first space station to orbit. They are currently preparing their first module and is set to launch this year. And now for our hero and villain segment. <laughs> Last week, I asked you guys to name the pregnant woman that broke the leg of her attacker, and my favorite name came from YouTube user Lord Shashamaru85, and his name for her was Bust a Calf Mom. Now for this week, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, a man who claimed to be a part of the CIA was arrested after he was seen sitting outside his house naked. The cops then noticed something strange in his home and decided to investigate. It turns out that the man was a hoarder. And not just any kind of hoarder, but an animal hoarder. Officers uncovered some living dogs, eight dead dogs, two dead iguanas, a four-foot alligator that later died, at least three living turtles, frogs, cats, rats, roosters, and even tarantulas. Some of the animals were even mummified, officials say. It wasn't clear how long the dead animals were in the home. Neighbors say they complained about the smell for years. And just like last week, I want you to post a comment giving your own special villain name to the naked man that liked animals. And now for our YouTube Spotlight. We 
we have a popular Star Trek slash Lost parody from YouTube user The Fine Bros. Let's do it again! How can you all accept this time-traveling plot device? It is all very illogical. How many times you gotta tell Galadriel here that logic doesn't matter? I can clearly see Spock is of no use in this situation. Dr. Bones, what do you suggest we do? Wait a minute. Doctor and Doctor, James and James, Asian and Asian, we're like the same show. Except that our show makes logical sense. Oh, come on! This is ridiculous! Excellent! And that was our Geekly News. Do you have any suggestions for our YouTube Spotlight? You can tweet us on Twitter at 3 Gorgeous Geeks. And if you want some more comic book movie news, just go ahead and go to comicbookmovies.com. I'm Katrina from The Gorgeous Geeks saying goodbye.